The Story of the Wishing Pearl and the Returning Crow Once upon a time, there was a boy herding buffaloes for a rich man. One day he took the buffaloes out to the fields to graze. Unfortunately, the buffalo was lost. The cruel owner forced him to pay money. But as poor as he was, where could he find the money to pay? The boy was lying motionless in the field, thinking endlessly and not knowing what to do, when a female crow flew from somewhere. Seeing it lying still, the crow thought it was a corpse and intended to eat it. The boy quickly caught the crow and said, Are you planning to eat me? I have to kill you. But when he heard the crow tell the story of his poor family, having to work alone to raise his wild children, the boy compassionately let the crow go. Before flying away, the crow spit out a pearl and said, Let me give you this pearl as a little thank you gift. Thanks to this pearl, he got whatever he wished for. The boy happily took the pearl and immediately wished, I wish I had a buffalo. Immediately a big fat buffalo appeared. He took the buffalo back to return it to its owner and then resigned. Then he held the pearl in his hand and wished, I wish I had a beautiful house to live in. Immediately a beautiful house appeared. The boy could always wish, I wish I had a beautiful wife. Sure enough, in the village there was a beautiful young girl who came to ask to be my wife. Thanks to the pearl, the couple got whatever they wished for. Full and complete material life. But the wife is greedy. Being happy on her own wasn't enough, she wanted her whole family to be happy too. So, while her husband was away, she stole the precious pearl and left for her parents' house. When the boy came home, he found it missing. Both Nock and his wife sat and cried. Mr. Buddha appeared and asked the reason. Hearing the boy tell the story, the Buddha immediately said, Stop crying. Let me find a way to help you. Having finished speaking, the Buddha gave him two flowers, one white and one red, and said, Listen. I brought white flowers and planted them in front of my wife's house. Many funny things will happen after that. And they will have to ask for help. At that time, I will use the red flower to save them. The boy did as the Buddha told him. He planted a white flower right in front of his wife's house. The flower bed emitted an unusual fragrance, causing the whole family to gather around to smell it. But strangely, after smelling it, each person's nose slowly grew longer like an elephant's trunk, looking really funny. The boy heard the news and went to his wife's house to ask. His father-in-law came out to meet him and said, Son, I don't know what crime our family committed to be punished by God like this. It's so embarrassing. He replied, It's because your wife stole your precious pearl. Hearing that, he apologized, ordered the pearl back and told his daughter to go back to live with her husband. At that time, the boy just took out the red flower for everyone to smell. Immediately, everyone's nose shrank back to normal as before. The couple lived together in harmony again and had many children. Thank you for joining us for today's fairy tale. We hope these stories bring joy and meaning to your day. If you love our channel, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any exciting tales. Wishing you a good night and sweet dreams. See you in the next story.